Hello. Happy Sunday night, guys. Welcome, welcome. I don't know if anybody's home tonight. I know that there's two concerts going on. So I'm just gonna wait. Hey, Amy, welcome. Hey, Ann. So welcome to Sunday Night Live. Like I said, I think there's two concerts, Ear Supply and somebody else. So I'm um, not sure who's logging on, but I'm gonna say hello to a few people as you're logging on. So I'm outside again. I don't know if you saw my Monday night, um, but I like to sit outside and get fresh air. So I'm in my garage bar. So it was a beautiful day, a busy day for me. So Sundays are my day to do everything I don't do during the week. And then I come on here. So I'm a little tired. I see people. Here's people. Hey, Laura. Pretty soon the wedding. Less than a month. Hey, Joanne. So if you guys can love and share this, that would be awesome. Hi, Charlene. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome. So I know I get a lot of friend requests and I try to answer them. I'm good. I'm good, Laura. So I try to answer them the best I can. And um, there's some people I just don't know. So um, I wait to see how many mutual friends I have before accepting. I think I'm almost at my 5,000. I don't know if they stop you at that point. Garage bar. Yes. Yes. I know it's coming fast, the wedding. Um... This way when I'm out here, it gives my husband a chance to go to bed early. Um, and this is probably the only quiet spot, I think. Um, there's cars gonna be driving by. Hey Kim, yes, I can't wait to see you guys. October, it's, oh my gosh, a month, a month away already, oh my God. Something told you to check onto Facebook. Lisa, I'm doing good. How are you? <clears throat> I actually feel like I'm getting sick, which is not fun. So um, that's not a good thing. Those lights behind me are cars. So uh, coming down the other side of the street. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, so uh, I try to take advantage of sitting outside the best as long as I can because it's going to get cold pretty soon and I'm not going to be able to sit out here. So. Um, I love it out here. Um, I didn't, I don't get to sit outside much. So my day was busy. I did take my dad mushrooming today. So my dad picks wild mushrooms for years. So we went mushrooming. Um, sent you a friend request from Vegas. Loved and shared. Thank you. So yes, I ask that you love and share just so your friends will log on and see this. And, um, I always tell people when I log on, not good depressed that's not good um yeah i don't know uh, i get super um overtired uh by sunday and uh, i read a lot yesterday and all week so um oh and you're welcome <laughs> cool cool i'm glad to hear that Yeah, um, I don't. I don't think I don't have allergies, so um, that's not the problem. I just think I'm overtired and getting sick. Hey, Vinny. So um, this, let's see, um, this Wednesday. It well, actually, Tuesday's the date, but this Wednesday it's five years that my bereavement group we've been together. So it's our anniversary five years already. So that's crazy. Um, a lot of people have joined a lot of people asked to join and so I love my people I love love my people they're amazing so if you feel you need to come to my brief make group you're more than welcome just private message me it's the second Wednesday of every month 
um, $5 donation and it's donated back to the hall. So, hey Brenda, <laughs> I like the hands. Hey Deb, killer's on, hi. <laughs> so everybody's logging on. Um, <clears throat> I hope you guys had a good short week because it was a short week. Uh, Laura's on. Yep. Uh, so yeah, somebody just asked me if they should think of a person that they want to talk to. Um, you can. <laughs> like I said, when I get on here, I actually I don't know what's going to happen. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen when I come on here. I don't know if I'm going to read anybody, um, read one person, read two. I, I just, I don't know when I get on here. It's all up to spirit. Oh, I love you guys too. Say hi to mom, Laura. Yes, it's, um, thank you. Five years we've been together. Um, they're more like my family than anything else. I love them all. Um, amazing group of people. So I am... I'm blessed to have them. So guys, I have a really cool announcement. So you guys know I go to Florida um, in October to do readings. So I'm there from the 12th through the 19th. And um, if you're in the Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale area and you would like to, um, you'd like to join uh, a group, you're more than welcome to just call me. I have a friend in the Weston area who doesn't mind if somebody joins our group. Um, so yeah, I'm trying, I'm reading and trying to think of what I was saying. So um, I have that coming up in um, October, uh, October 12th through the 19th. September 20th is Jay Ruse, it's my dinner show. Hey, Steph. Um, it's my dinner show. It's a Friday night, 55 a person. It's dinner and a show. Um, it's a fun time. It's a small, quaint group. Um, Jay Ruse is awesome. So if you need tickets, please let me know. Uh, I don't know how many are left, but if you can just let me know, I can. you can pick them up from me or we can arrange something. Found three dimes this week after we talked about it last week. I found like 15 dimes. I don't know who they are, but um, somebody. Okay, so um, November 10th, listen how cool this is. So this is really cool. Um, I have, I read a woman from Massachusetts and she told her boss, I guess, or somewhere where she works about me and they called and asked if I would do a show. And the place I'm doing a show is Jasper Hills Restaurant. It's in Millis, Massachusetts. So if I have anybody in the Massachusetts area that would love, I'd love for you to come there if you're not far away from there. Um, let's see, it's a Sunday, November 10th, four to six. Um, Rosemary, oh. So I have people coming. I don't know. Where are you going, Rosemary? Which show are you going to? I just saw somebody says, can't wait to go. Rosemary. So where? Are you, uh, which show are you going to? So anyway, so I heard um, from the owner. It's an old, it was an old Victorian house from the 1800s. And it was redone. Um, so I'm excited to see how many spirits are in there. <laughs> That'll be really cool. Uh yeah, I'm excited about that. So if you're in um, near Millis, I think I'm saying it right, M-I-L-L-I-S, Millis, Mass. I will be there November 10th on a Sunday from 4 to 6 at Jasper Hills, Jasper Hill Restaurant. So I am going to post this on here just in case anybody is from that area and would love to come. Um, it's it's going to be really cool. I'm excited. So, um, in September 20th is J. Ruse. I have everything posted. Um, <clears throat> feathers, yes, feathers are all around. Feathers are signs from, a lot of people get different signs from spirit. Cardinals, feathers, dimes. Um, I get 11 cents. This week I got a lot of dimes. I don't know what they mean for me. I don't know. 
Um, yes. <laughs> hey, Jen, how are you? Yes. Um, I just saw somebody post, didn't know this was me, Lisa Notarino. Yes, that's my maiden name. And I went to school with her. <clears throat> so that's really cool. Actually, well, we're out of school 30 years this year. Um, so it's our reunion, I think, October 5th. Yeah, I'm excited, Brenda. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's two, um, two hours away from here. Um, I'm just looking for my people in the Massachusetts area. Um, hey, oh, you're watching from Arizona. Cool. Cool. Oh, yes, Linda, she told me that you met Gabby. Gabby told me the other night that she met you. <coughs> hey, John Beadle, how are you? So, yeah, so there's a lot of things coming up. Forgive me, I guess I'm getting all, like, congested. Um, so I'm going to try to get through this. Oh, yeah, so smells and scents, and um, if you smell your loved ones, yes. Oh, another Arizona person is here. How you doing? <laughs> That's cool. How cool is that? Hey, Jack. So you guys, if you can love and share this, that would be awesome. Um, forgive me, I think I'm getting sick, so I'm getting raspy. Um, <clears throat> let me try to get through this. Um, so people that are just logging on, if you can love and share this, that would be awesome. Uh, we did have a winner last week. I don't know who it was. Um, Ashley, if you look on my page, um, there are meanings of all the consecutive numbers, 222, 333. So all the numbers have meanings. They're angel numbers, and I have them listed on my, um, on my page. I think I posted it the other day. I'm glad to see Sandy's on here now. <laughs> uh, a lot of people have been calling as well um, for group readings. And so all my, all my Saturdays, um, Saturdays in September, October, and November are booked. So any Saturday readings for groups um, are going to be in December unless you take another night, but I think um, September and October are booked um, as well, almost for just readings. And um, Gabby has been doing her meditation in the salt cave. So um, if you guys like to do that, it's amazing. It's relaxing. Um, I need to get there myself. So I'm gonna try to do that. Um, what else was I gonna tell you? I see, I see new people logging on. So if you love and share this, that's awesome. Again, uh, September 20th, J. Ruse. Um, if you can give me, um, if you need tickets, you can give me a call, um, private message me, and we will figure something out. I do have tickets at my office. Uh, I am all around, so you can get tickets that way. 55 a person, dinner and a show. October 12th through the 19th. I'm saying this again because people are just logging on as I'm saying this. So October um, 12th through the 19th. I don't know if Deb, if you're on here, Deb McGraw, if you can just post what I'm saying um, so I don't have to keep saying it. Yes, Lisa, you got, I think Lisa, I think, I think you got my last Saturday in November. Oh, yes. So the salt cave on Tuesday night, um, I had one of my friends uh, form a group and there's two spots in there. So there's two spots for a reading in the salt cave on Tuesday night. So if anybody wants to join, um, just let me know. Uh, Liz, if you're, I just saw your post, Liz. So I don't know how many did you have just so I don't because I have um, two for that as well. So if you're on, if you just could just let me know how many you have. Awesome, thank you guys. I love all the loves and shares. And um, I'm not sure if my friend's on here. Deb McGraw, if you're on here, if you can post the show. 
in post Florida, that would be awesome. So I don't have to keep saying it in, um, Oh, Lily, you're joining one of our groups, right? I think Lily's perfect. Thanks, Deb. Yeah, um, so my friend Deb McGraw just posted on there, if you could see it. Uh, that's, um, yes. I'm not sure what I'm not sure what you're asking. Yes, you will, Lily. Yes, I will let you know the date um, I'm going to be there, so that um, where I'm going to be closer to you. I think it's I think it's the Wednesday night I'm there, so um, I will private message you and give you. Oh, okay. Sorry, somebody had to wake. We had four total. Had five. Okay, that's still, um, I don't know how many you have now, just two. Um, so anybody um, interested in joining the Salt Cave, uh, it's, um, there's six people. It's, everybody gets a reading, obviously. Uh, it's in the Salt Cave. It's awesome. It's this Tuesday night, um, I believe. Oh, gosh. I believe it's at 630. Um, so if anybody's interested, just let me know. And um, I know my Florida people, if you're from Florida, just um, say hi. Uh, I know I have all my groups booked down there. So I'm there six nights, I have five groups. I have, I have two and you have two, so we need two more. I think that's what you're saying. Uh, Tuesdays, um, to join Tuesday is 110 a person. So um, those are uh, private readings. Hey Ralph, how are you? Um, but it's really cool in there. So it's really relaxing and you're in like really comfy chairs and you get readings. It's really cool. So Liz, remind me to inbox you after because I'm getting bits and pieces when I ask you a question. So I already have two and you have two. So we can have two more. If that makes sense, just say yes. <laughs> um, yeah, the salt cave is amazing. Oh, oh yeah. Vanessa, yes you did. <clears throat> oh, so Liz, you know Ralph? Everybody knows Ralph. Everybody's saying hi to Ralph. Uh, so everybody knows everybody. Hey, Dan. Everybody knows somebody. Thanks, Deb. Hey, Dan, how are you? So there's a lot of exciting things going on. Um, so, can you do a virtual private reading? So I do um, phone readings, and um, I have not, I haven't done any like face to face, like Skype or anything like that. I'm sure I could. I'm, I just don't. Um, but I do phone readings. Yes, there's a lot of people logging on. Yeah, so everybody's uh, logging on and asking questions and hopefully I can answer them all before I start. So I do ask guys, you know, um, I did not Heidi. I did not yet. I know, so tickets are going um, for the 20th, so. Yeah. I'm just trying to answer your guys' questions. There's so many, so forgive me if I don't get to one of your questions. I'm sorry. There's just so many. I'm gonna try my best. Um, get to whatever I can get to. Wow, yes. Good evening. <laughs> so I, I, I know there's a lot of people. Donna, congratulations to your beautiful daughter. She looked amazing. And your new son-in-law. The wedding was gorgeous. I looked at all the pictures. So congratulations. Um...
Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well, everybody knows everybody. That's a beautiful thing. I like that. Everybody's saying hi to everybody. So here's what happens on my page. <laughs> um, if you have headphones and I call on you or you, the message is for you, you need to have headphones or else I can't talk to you um, because it's a back feed and then it just sounds really terrible. So I really can't read you if you do not have headphones. I'm sorry. Um, and I guess not, Brenda. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess not. Nobody went to the concert, so they're at the concert. So sorry, guys. I'm like starting to sound raspy. Um, there's like six different things, six different people and things, and every time I talk, somebody's trying. Hey, from Orlando. Yes, uh, Linda Cap. I did. Um, my daughter, Gabby, told me she saw you. You have headphones. Awesome. Awesome. So you guys love and share. A uh, few rules for my page. Um, when I start reading, I do ask that you're considerate. Um, I don't know who, how many people are going to come through. I don't know if I'm going to just read one or if somebody else comes through, if I'm going to read another person. Um, if I'm talking to somebody, please don't tell me to hurry up. I think it's rude. Um, <laughs> I, if you were getting read, you wouldn't want me to hurry up. It's not how I work. If I'm getting, if spirits coming through and I'm getting messages, I kind of have to stick with that person. So, um, that's how I work. So you might want to just enjoy watching somebody get read and it might be you next time. Um, positive comments are always welcome. I work off the of energy, so I want everything to be positive so I can pass the messages along. And um, I know it's gonna probably make sense to a couple people, and I will tell you what's different or if I know I'm, if I know I'm with you or not. So, um, yes. Linda Cap, I yes, I don't know if you can. I, everybody hears me okay, right? So just give me a thumbs up like that. You hear me okay? Nothing's distorted because I have somebody keep asking the same questions, um, and I just want to make sure that you're hearing me okay. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> yeah, things always happen for a reason. They always do. <clears throat> Perfect, thank you. And um, let me think about this. I'm just going to take a drink because I can't even. Hmm. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go. I'm going to. I'm going to start if we're ready. Love and share. <clears throat> Oh, I just kicked the thing coming in clear and then I almost knock it over. So guys, just bear with me um, with my raspy voice that I'm getting and it could be for spirit. I don't know. It just started to happen when I came out here. So um, we're going to try this. So ready? Um, cool. So be kind to one another. <laughs> I sound like Ellen. Um, it keeps pausing and skipping. So Kimberly, you need to log off, log off and then log back on. Cause I, um, nobody has said that yet. So uh, sometimes it's uh, somebody there on your side. Shared, perfect. Let's do this. Um, I don't know. All right, so today um, I need, uh, somebody's Joseph. The date 626, that number connects. Unbelievable. So 626, so somebody's born June 26th or past June 26th. Um, there's a Joseph. Uh, I don't know if I want the Joseph in spirit or Joseph here and the mom. Energy has passed. 
So again, I'm gonna say that the, the um, date I connect with is 626, it's June 26th. And um, there's a Joe, I believe Joe is here. His mom would be passed. My wedding anniversary is 626 and my mom has passed. Is there a Joe to you, Jen? <clears throat> Some, I don't know if it's my voice or spirits. That's weird. Well, that's no, not. Well, nothing's weird with me. Um, nope. This is so. I'm. Um, my granddaughter's. Nope. 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 Oh, nope. I'm gonna say it again, just so you can understand. It is exactly how I say it for spirits. So Jen Palmer. Um, my wedding anniversary is 626 and my mom has passed. There has to, is there a Joseph connection, Jen Palmer? Horowitz, that's right. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Wait a minute, my uncle is Joe and my grandmother has passed. No. No, no, no. It's so, oh gosh, let me, let me think. And I'm finding dimes. Nope. So all three have to connect, and I know it. I know it does to you, Brenda. But so somebody connects six twenty six. Joe is here, so Joseph or Joe. Um, and the mom has passed. So. I'm going to wait a minute just because I didn't see it yet. Um, I know. Who had the raspy voice? This is driving me nuts. Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is really hard to do on here. My mom is Jill, had a raspy voice, and my daughter is 626. Hmm. Janine, I think that's, had a raspy voice. I think that's her. Um, sorry guys, I think that's Janine. So, Nicole Durso said her dad was, wait a minute, I didn't see it. So guys, you have to understand, I there's so many people that I can't, Nicole Durso said her dad was Joe and his birthday was 626. Tell her to comment again. Nicole, comment again. I, I almost feel like it's, yeah. No, she said her, my dad, my dad's birthday is 926. He's Joseph. This is 626. My dad is Joe, mom passed. And my first grandson was born on 626. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me see. Um, Kim, I'm trying to think if anything is on 626. So when I say something to you, it is like really, really, really like they're adamant about it. And. The mom is in spirit, 626 is very significant, and there's a Joe connection. And I feel like Joe is here. So, okay. Honey, I wish it worked like that. I wish I wish they, um, th this is how they connect at first. And then once I start, they do, 
I have to make the connection first. So, um, Kimberly. Kim, are you Kimberly Yates? Yates. Do you have headphones? Do you want to go live? I think this is you, honey. <clears throat> Some of you guys are raspy boys. Hey, Chrissy. No, I, I know who I'm with. Um, Kimberly Yates, Yates, Yates. Do you have headphones, Kimberly? So we're gonna, uh -huh. she doesn't have headphones, shoot. All right, she doesn't have headphones. And I don't have another phone here. Hey Bridget, I, I really, I think it, uh, it's her. So let me see. Um, I'm trying to think if there is 626. My mom has passed also. Yeah, no, um, I'm with Kimberly. My dad is Joe. Mom passed. My first grandson was born on 626. I need to talk to her. And I don't know. I think that's going to be too much feedback. Um, See what happens? I, I don't know. <clears throat> so, this is for Kimberly. And I don't have, she doesn't have headphones. And I need, let me see. Hold on. My grandmother passed away almost two years ago, Carol. Oh, those are fancy. No. Hello, watching. Hello. I don't know. I don't know if there's a problem. Shoot. Joe is in the physical world. Yes. Um, I don't even have another phone. I don't even have another phone to get to her. Headphones broke, didn't get the new ones. You can talk to me later. Um, yeah, I wish I could. That's <laughs> it's, it's hard to do that when spirit wants to talk. So i um, trying to see if my husband has a phone. Um, I believe Joe's here in the physical world. Okay, so my mom is... So. Let me go back on you. Okay, so my mother is telling you about my fiance, Lisa. Uh, Jean, there's just so many comments on here. Let me go back to see where you are. Um, I believe the message to be for Kimberly. Um, and when I do a live, it's like, you know how it goes. I have to give the message and I can't. So that's aggravating. Um, everyone say, said my mother is. Everyone said my mother as Joe. Joe instead of Joe. It was very common. Um, Janine, do you have headphones? I, I really honestly, I don't think it's you, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to try. Let's see. I'm going to try this, guys. I'm sorry. Um. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good. How are you? 
good. I'm sorry, I missed all that. Um, only because there's so many people um, actually on here. And when I first got on, I felt like I connected um, with Kimberly, which is really possible. She doesn't have headphones. So um, what were you, what did you validate on that? Because there is um, a okay, six so connection. Okay, so when you were when when i first came on i asked you square out i said i'm getting married in four weeks okay i said um i'd like to know who's going to be there you then said the woman had a raspy voice which my mother very much did okay uh she was a smoker a heavy one and a heavy one yeah and no. my fiance's name is joe or joseph Okay. My daughter's birthday, the confirmation for that is 626. Perfect. And my daughter's sitting right next to me. Perfect. We're going to go for it then. Thank you for validating. Um, as well as there's so many times that there's likeness in situations, obviously, with so many people. You understand that? Obviously. Um, Absolutely. So, so, you know, sometimes I know who I'm connected with. I do also feel that there is a message for Kimberly. So I'm going to probably um i'll write it down and do it later um but the raspy voice thing is annoying the heck out of me so i'm gonna go with this also i connect in november as to somebody's birthday um anniversary or month of a passing because mommy tells me that and children what's that my son's birthday's in november my daughter's birthday's in june okay perfect so i have to acknowledge there's two children were there three pregnancies Two children. Yeah. Can I validate that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, she does that. Actually, she just said, your mom's sitting right over here, uh, just said to me that her voice is not raspy on the other side, but I would have to have a raspy voice in order for you to connect with the whole situation. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Is dad here in the physical? No. He's been, has passed. Yes. Has it been some time? Are there two? So I'm going to say this. Yes. Are there two dads? Yes. Okay. But I didn't mean to say it like that if it was. <laughs> That's okay. No, both are past. Both are past? Yes. Okay. So your biological dad has passed and mommy's. Um, My stepdad, step yes. Stepdad has passed as well. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> hmm. You know. At the time of her passing, were you there? Yes. Okay, because somebody was not there. Mm -hmm. Somebody was not yeah, there. My daughter. Okay. My daughter. The you 626. Know, the 626 <laughs> was not there. So is yes. this something wrong? So is this your so is this number <laughs> is this your second marriage? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Is it your third relationship, second marriage? Do you understand? Yes. Because you your yes. mom said there were three. I, three. I'm going to talk yes. over you one second because she's yelling in my ear. She's like, if there's three of them. She was. So this is your second marriage, but the other one, your first one, could have been like your marriage as well, or in between. I don't know what she's trying to say. You'd understand it though. Do you understand too? I understand what you're saying. Okay, because she's she's over here yapping in my ear. Um, also, mm. but <laughs> West Haven for some reason connects. That's where she lived. <laughs> yeah, because she says we have to go to West Haven. I feel like the house, was the house sold or was it? Yes. Okay. Was it redone? So was it done over? Because she tells me it's all different. You're talking about her house in East Haven. After she died, we redid it. We redid it. And then you're saying she sold and we did. We sold it. Okay. So she lived. Previously, she was uh, originally from West Haven. Or is that where she was before she went? She to originally Haven? owned a condo in West Haven, then bought one in East Haven. <laughs> All right, perfect. And it was redone and then sold. Yeah. Cool. She likes it. <laughs> um, do you like baseball? Uh, yeah. Are, are you a Yankees fan? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Were you were you watching the game? I don't even know if they're on today. My daughter's born on Derek Jeter's birthday. Oh, cool! So my husband just bought this cool pillow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He just bought this nice Yankee pillow. 
my husband never buys pillows. He hates pillows because I have so many of them. And he came home with one. Um, so your daughter's the Yankee fan. Is she a Yankee yeah. fan? Perfect. Um, had you changed the place you were getting married? At, from, from your first... Um, so when you first originally planned your mar- wedding, did you mm-hmm. change places from what you were going to have? Yes. Where you're going to have it? Yes. Do you, do you understand that it fell through for a reason? Yes. Okay. Because there's a reason behind everything. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't understand. Um, who's the Joseph then? Joseph is my fiance. Okay. All right. Had you known him some time? Had Two years. You, okay. But had you known of him previously? No. So, okay. So this is something new. There's another yes. Joseph. Okay. So I'm going to totally connect you with another bothered. Joseph. Yep. Past. Here. Here in the physical in the or physical Joseph world, the past. And not, and not maybe not connected to your fiance, but maybe um, connected to something else. Okay. I have a cousin named Joseph. Okay, who's Joseph mom? Who's Joseph's mom or dad? Are they connected to your mom or on your dad? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. I need to know who Joseph's mom or dad is and how to connect with mom. So my cousin Joe, his dad was my mom's cousin. Okay. Oh, they're through cousins, not siblings. Mm-hmm. Okay. Correct. All right. So Joe, that's here in the physical world. His dad is also Joseph. Is that what you, I'm just trying to get that. No, Did my he... fiance's, my fiance's dad, his name is Joseph. Okay. Here in the physical world? No. Also bad. Yeah. No, this Joseph's here. So I'm just trying to understand what she's trying to say. When was the last time you connected with a Joseph that's cousin wise? Or did something just happen with the cousins? All the time. I talk to him all the time. Okay. Did something just happen? Meaning did somebody, uh, is there a celebration of something? Um, because I feel like she's just connecting with him. So I don't hmm. know. He just, he just actually started a sauce company. He did. Okay, so this is yeah. a new adventure for him? Yes. Congratulations. I just need to validate that from mom because something is okay. something special or something's happening and they always point out a certain person. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Your mom likes your fiance a lot. Um, so you got a thumbs up. Um, did you wish she stopped smoking a long time ago? Did you always ask her to stop smoking? or had wished I did, but I knew she couldn't. Okay. It is very hard for people to stop. Mm-hmm. It is very hard. Um, so what are your wedding plans? So what is, what it, what, so um, is this something unusual, different, or? Um, no, I mean, we're getting married in a church, and okay. we're, we're going to Brazzies for a dinner, and I then Foxwoods. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Congratulations. Um, is there you. a younger sister to mom or is mom the youngest? No, there are two. No, mom was the youngest. She had two twin sisters. Okay. Okay. She was the youngest mommy. Yes. Cause she's saying the younger sister. So I'm asking her, asking you if she had a younger sister, but she was the youngest of the sisters. Mm-hmm. Were you not expecting her to pass? No, I knew she was going to pass. Okay. She said somebody doubted that this was going to happen. Like somebody was in total denial or doubted that this was going to happen. Mm-hmm. My brother, Adam. Okay. Yeah. How is Adam doing? Adam's. Adam doesn't talk to me. Okay. You can tell her that. You know (laughs) that. I don't like that. Um, connect me with October because she keeps saying October. Connect. October is when I'm getting married. <laughs> okay. um, did you try to fix this? I'm sorry. I don't mean to do this on live. No, just that that's I okay. Your, I have your mom's attention, so I'm going to give it to you. That's her. all right. Um, who's born second in your birth order? 
and my bro my brother Adam. <laughs> okay. Is there a was there a way to fix this or? I've tried. You've tried. Okay. I've tried multiple <laughs> times. Okay, as long as you gave as long as you give it you know gave it a I shot. I continue to try every okay. so often. Okay, I don't want so I don't want you to give up, and uh, she doesn't want you to give up. And you could just put it out there every once in a while. Hey, you're my brother. I love you. We might not see eye to eye, but you're my brother and I love you. And I don't mm -hmm. want it to be like this. You understand? So mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be that way. Um, she doesn't right. like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just going to tell you that. And um, it's not, and so it's not your fault. So listen, there's three sides to every story. Right. Your side, his side, and the truth. So we'll just mm. put at that. Is that fair enough? I say that with fair every, enough. I say that with everybody. Um, nobody's perfect. We all have our faults and, um, it just takes a big person to do what you do is meaning try to, um, talk to him and get him to come around. Maybe somebody on here will see this that knows him, who knows. And, um, he can know that you love him very much and you would like to work it out or just be able Absolutely. to Absolutely. Is that, that's cool. So your, um, future, well, your father-in-law, that would be your father-in-law, um, on the other side, were there chest or lung issues? Yes. <clears throat> Chest. Oh, all right. Had he had two surgeries or had they tried something twice? Yes. Uh, because he told me there yes. was two times at it. And um, Oh my God. Yeah, you just gave me chills. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, how was your fiance about talking about his dad? Um He'll talk about him, but he doesn't focus on him. I've actually Mm -hmm. um, heard his father laugh and described it to him and it's kind of freaked him out a little bit. Right. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I kind of feel like, you know, he's around us a lot. He is around you a lot. And I think that, um, so his mom and dad were married or are they separated or they're married? They were married, but they were separated when he passed. Okay. Um, yeah. so, cause he keeps going. So let me explain this. He's, I'm sorry. I look like he keeps going like we were together and then we weren't. Um, yes. So that was at the end. So that's how yes. he left the physical world being separated from his wife. Um, but knowing that he still loves her like yeah. crazy. Do, do you know what I mean? And sometimes people. A can't few hours lose. before he passed, he told her that as soon as he got out of the hospital, they were going to get back together and work everything out. Perfect. Um, He's just validating how, how much he loves her. And um, sometimes it takes something tragic or something mm. really bad to happen to really see how much you really love somebody and who's yeah. there for you. And sometimes we forget that. Um, could you let Joe, your, Joe, your fiance, I will, <laughs> that his dad is okay in that piece. Um, it's very important. Somebody's born in December because he talks about the December um, occasion. So somebody's birth month um, or month of a passing, I kind of feel. Um, he just tells me December is a connection. December. Okay. Um, it might, I would have to ask somebody, Joe. Somebody on his side of the family. It'll make sense. It's okay. It's like 12-12. Okay. So like that date, December 12-12-12. Okay. okay. All right. Um, how old is your daughter that was born 626? She's 18. She's 18. All right. Mm -hmm. has, um, has she decided what she's going to do? Somewhat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somewhat. Okay. I just, I'm just going to explain what your mom just said. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. She said, did Go she ahead. decide? She said, did she decide what she's going to do? So I don't know. Yeah, she she wants she wants to become an EMT. Oh, cool! So is my son. Yeah. Yeah. She should do it. She should do it. Don't. I'm encouraging to her 100. percent Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so whatever she does, uh, obviously your mom is proud of her. And your son? How old your son? 24. 24. Cool. Um, 
Oh, somebody's put my grandson was born 12, 12. I'm sorry. So when I read and people put stuff, even though I'm reading you, I, I get um, very distracted, but it does make sense. It will make sense to your husband, future husband, fiance, Joe, 12, 12. It's on his daddy's side. All right. Had, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So how did you meet? Say again, Lisa, I'm sorry you cut out. How did you meet Joe? Tinder. <laughs> it's okay. A lot of people meet there. Yeah, unbelievably, yeah. actually. <laughs> a lot of people meet there. It's a good thing because you know what? Some people just don't go out anymore and they don't go to different places where they would meet somebody. So um, they're always home on the computer right. and that's how you meet somebody. So um, he's a really nice guy. It's all going to be good. Um, I'm glad your daughter. So it's, it's so the only reason why I'm saying that about your daughter is because your, your mom wants her to make a definite, like I, you know, did she make up her mind? Like go sign up, go do whatever you need to do. Like, don't wait. So that's why she's okay. saying that. That's the only reason why she's saying that. Okay. okay. Sometimes if you wait, then you decide something else and then you don't do what you really wanted to do. Right. Um, so your mom will, um, definitely be at your wedding without a doubt. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to ask you this cause it sounds really, well, it doesn't sound crazy, but my right leg, right leg ankle, she, mm. it's, it's hurting. So it's either for somebody here in the physical world, my brother, Adam, oh gosh, what happened with his right leg ankle? He shattered it. He did. He shattered it when she was alive. He shattered it. He was a MMA fighter. Oh, wow. Okay. That's dangerous. Mm, <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't you're not like kidding. watch it. Never mind. I was the one that had to drive her there in a snowstorm. I know. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So she, so you, you'll be able to fix it. You'll be able to, is there only two of you or there, were there three pregnancies for her? Three, three. There's three of us. Okay, perfect. Because she says there's three, and I'm like, okay, but the other, because she's just talking about you and Adam, and um, I don't want to leave anybody out. Is that fair enough? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. So somebody's the May baby. May. Somebody's born in May. Yep. So how does the birth order go? So Adam's number two. Who's born first? I am. Okay. And the baby? The baby's born in February. Okay. That's Zachary. Yeah. Okay. Do you see Zachary? Right. Zachary lives with me. I have custody of him. Okay. All right. That's your mom's youngest. Okay. Yeah. Right. My mom's youngest. All right. Um, he, he has mental issues and I took custody okay. of him. All right. It's not easy. No, it's <laughs> no. not easy. So sometimes, um, yeah. So it's really awesome of you to do that. And um, thank you. What else are you going to do? Right. When they're your family and you do how to do. Right. That's, Not that's it. You don't have but a choice. I, yeah. Can I just say something to you? Don't, but you have to take care of you because if you don't take care of you, you're not going to be able to take care of everybody else. And so I think you just got a lot on your plate. <laughs> Yeah. And um, I love how you say that and you laugh. <laughs> welcome to my world. <laughs> right. I think a lot of people have a lot on their plate and I'm the first one. Cause everybody yells at me, like you need to take care of yourself and you know, you're, you're exhausted. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And then I get like, Oh my God, I feel like I'm going to die. Um, mm -hmm. But then you can't help anybody if you're like that. You know, so you understand. That's right. So um, by, by you doing that, I just, um, it means a lot to your mom. And it's something she always knew you would do. Um, there was without a doubt or a question in her mind. It just comes with great responsibilities. But you also have to forget not to live. So you have your own life. So there's going to, you know, you have to um, worry about you, but also um, live your life because you're getting married now. Yeah. And to carry on as a couple and, you know, the best you can do. That's all you can right. do. Is somebody's birthday coming up? Because she keeps saying happy birthday. May. Um, I found your May date, actually. Who's May? You said May. 
May is uh, my my daughter's because it's tattooed on her and she's sitting next to me. And she said to me, what's the what's on my side, the date? And I said, it's May. That's why I look to the side. Um, so her the man that she wanted to marry and that was going to marry her, his birthday is in May. And um, it's just funny because she's sitting next to me. So when you said May, it it I stopped for a second. And then she was like, Mommy, what's the date on my side? And I said, May. Is she, is she with the is, is she with Is she with what? The gentleman. And what is I, I I missed that. So is he here in the physical world? He's he's passed. He's passed. Okay. okay. So they were supposed to get married or planned on someday getting married. Yes. yes. <clears throat> Was his passing unexpected? I keep hearing Jay. James, um, was his passing? Yes, it was, un it was unexpected. Okay. So I keep, I keep hearing Jay, like J A Y. I don't want to say it. um, it's Jay. I, I just keep hearing that. Is there a Jay or Jay connection to her, to him, or Elijah? It's got a J in it. I mean. It, how's it spelled? What do you, I, I don't say that's E L I J A H. E L I J A H. No. Oh, no. I just keep hearing J, like J A Y. Like somebody would connect with him with that. Um, was she with him at the time of his passing? No. Like, was she together with him, meaning in a relationship with him at the time of his passing? Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. So this has been something that's um, very difficult for her. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. He, he just keeps saying it, it was, unex he just tells me it was unexpected. I don't, sometimes I just don't get into things on here that I don't really need to. Um, but he's telling me that there's a J A Y connection. So she would have to understand that as, um, in July connects too to him. She says she doesn't know. Is there three of them? Is he one of three? Yes, he is. Okay. Who's the who's the youngest? Him. He is. Okay. Um, somebody's around July July fourth. Somebody's birthday or anniversary. The baby. The baby. The baby that was just born. Who's the baby? His uh his his yeah, sister yeah. his sister had a baby. On July fourth. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, he just sees the, it's just validation that he sees mm -hmm. the baby. Mm -hmm. Um, could you just let your daughter know that he loves her very much and she's that she listening needs... actually, she has the other earbud in okay. her ear. Move her in the screen. Hi, Hi, honey. Uh, he just said he loves you very much and that you need to carry on from here. Okay. And sometimes that's difficult and you're very young and you're beautiful and you will move on. You will. Um, and a hundred years from now, you will see him again on the other side, a hundred years from now, but you have to do your stuff here in the physical world. Okay. So if it's an EMT you want to be, then go do it. Don't procrastinate. Okay. So the baby is to number two. So he's born the baby, right? Cause he's number three. Yeah. In the, okay. Who's who had the baby? His, His sister. sister. Is she number one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just let them know that he sees the baby, okay? And then validating the baby. Did that hurt? Did that tattoo no. hurt? No. Oh, you're brave. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen people with all tattoos. I'm like, ouch. Uh, so. so is there a double heart? What's mm -hmm. on there? It's a, it's a feather. Okay. He keeps telling me there's double hearts. Do, do you understand? Do you have something? Do you have double something hands. with double hearts on it? Um, do you have a necklace um, like that? No. Mm -mm. He keeps making two hearts together. Would that be something you mm -hmm. looked at when you went there to get the tattoo, or it was just that's what you picked out? No, you picked, he picked the, she picked the, feather. picked the feather. Okay. Just, um, just, it'll make sense to you. There is a double heart that I need 
to acknowledge because he keeps doing it. So it'll mean something. And I know sometimes when people are on here and then they text me later and they're like, oh my God, I have this bracelet or something that he gave me and it has two hearts joined together. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but he's acknowledging it. Um, so I know somebody's inboxing me. Sorry, I just got that. Uh, did I ask whose birthday was just coming up? Did you tell me that? So I can, you can give it over to mom for a minute just because I need to see mom. Jen. So whose birthday's, birthday's coming up? Birthday's coming up. My birthday yeah. just passed last Wednesday. Okay, happy birthday. And then my, and then, thank you. And then my ex-husband's is the 19th. Okay, is that her dad? Yes. Okay. Well, tell her happy birthday to her dad. But um, happy birthday to you too, because mom is thank saying you. that. All right. Thank you. Uh, she will be there on your wedding day, my friend. She will be. And um, she will be in spirit. You could take pictures and catch things and um, it'll, you'll see it. You'll see her. Okay. Tell Joe, tell okay. Joe okay. from okay. his dad. He said hello. Tell the mom he's okay. All right. And that he loves her very much. Sounds good. I will tell him. Right. I will. All Thank right. you. You're very welcome. I will end there, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming on live and having. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Take care. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. I don't know how to x that out. Okay. All right, guys. I know I lost some of you on there. Um. I think I lost some of you on there. Some of you are still on there. All right. Everybody went quiet on me. So I guess I'm going to go quiet on you. Uh, so guys, I'm going to log off only because I'm really super tired and I have a really busy week. Again, if you need any tickets, um, you have any questions, you want to join um, the support group, you want to come to J. Ruse, whatever you want to do. Um, Tuesday night, I have two spots left in the Salt Cave and um, I will be posting stuff um, like crazy on here. <laughs> I feel bad. I post a lot of stuff like crazy on here. Uh, but if you can love and share it, I appreciate you for um, joining joining me tonight. And I'm going to definitely get some rest because I'm overtired. And um, I will, I'll check back in. So I'm going to try, I don't know, I come on here a lot. And I don't know, as long as it's nice out here, I'm still... Um, I'm going to sit outside and chat with you guys. So guys have a great week. Um, and we'll talk soon. Yep. I'm going to end there. Perfect. I'm going to end on 11, 11 people. So have a good night. Thanks guys.